guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva DIY. In today's video, I am creating some what would be very helpful back to school DIYs. Whether you are going to school physically or you are doing homeschooling, I think these would be appropriate for either because you can use them for both. I'm going to use them more for an organizational purposes for my family rather than this back to school because my son's starting university in September and it's all online and my daughter is going to be going back to high school for her last year um, and it is uh, I think they're doing like five days on five days off or something like that but needless to say uh, they're both um, old enough to organize themselves but um, I would like to because they're both still uh, both working and um, uh, they have um, some other things going on in their life so to keep everything organized I will be creating a calendar uh, board and as well as a magnetic board to keep any notes or anything that it's important kind of on it and if it needs to go back to school or whatever for whatever that you need it but this would be so these DIYs are great for your homework command center or family command center because they can keep you organized and keep things all in one place this video is also part of a challenge that is hosted by Heidi Sambol. It's back to school DIY challenge. If you do not know Heidi, she is an extremely talented DIYer and a great person. So make sure if you're not subscribed to her or you are not familiar with her, make sure you head on over. Her channel will be linked in the description box. I will also link the playlist in the description box uh, for everybody that that's participating in this so you can get tons of back to school DIY inspiration to hit the ground running when the school starts for us it starts in September I know some of you guys are going back in August but we don't go back till after Labor Day so uh, this will help you get your homework stations get your family commands centers all organized and even maybe some DIYs will be for something that you can take to school if you're actually going to school or your children I mean so my first one I will be creating a magnetic board this I'm sure you have all come across it at one point I am just using an old pan that I've had as you can see it's kind of had its day but I didn't want to throw it out I wanted to recycle it so I kept it and I thought this would be perfect I will also use some any Sloan chalk paint uh, and then I have some magnets you need some sort of a glue I am heating up my hot glue so I'll most likely use that and then also need a um, some paper that because I just want to make it pretty on the inside so that's why I'm using this paper you can completely just paint it over or leave even the middle open or you can paint it a different color it's totally up to you so I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the frame frame I like using the chalk paint for projects like these because it gives me decent coverage. I have, um, I think I have a couple videos that I've done last year on how I set up my command centers and the year before I think but I'm not 100% sure I know I have at least one so I will link up all the ones I have in uh, the eye in the sky in the corner so if you want to get some ideas how to organize schoolwork and uh, all the extra pens and paper, rulers, markers, all that kind of stuff, I will link it for you so you can check it out. Mm -hmm. 
I will still have the command center. Um, it will just not have as much stuff for organizing them because I'm hoping that they uh, will be organized on their own. I know my daughter will. My son, well, he's just going to have to learn the hard way, I guess. <laughs> and pretty much everything these days is through email. There's really hardly any paperwork to go back and forth. So I'm going a little bit further in just because um, that way if the paper doesn't quite go into all the corners there will be the white there okay so I'm going to let this dry before I move on to anything else so this had some time to dry so I'm going to flip it over and just try and uh, trace it and cut it out. I think I'm going to trim it a little bit more. And I'm using my diamonds as a guide to cutting straight. Okay, so that worked. Now I'm just going to take the bottom. to put some hot glue you don't want to go overly heavy with it because you don't want to get bumps there and now I'm going to put hot glue up and down push it out so that way it gets into the little corners you can also use Mod Podge there we go and I'm going to use my magnets and I can touch up this as well if you want it to be more um, solid color I like how rustic mine looks I'm just going to put a little bit here because I'm very impatient and I didn't wait for it to completely dry in some spot and ended up smudging it with my fingers so I recommend letting it completely dry And here is my magnet board. I think for little notes, this will be perfect. So the next project, I will be making a calendar. And I had picked up this poster, a dry erase poster board or dry erase board at Dollarama for $4. And I've been using these for my workout schedule and for some other things and it has worked out really well. 
um, you can wipe things off, uh, reuse it, no problem at all. And for four dollars, like dry erase boards will run you for twenty, thirty dollars for sure here, anyways. So, but I wanted to um, create a calendar so that way I can use sticky notes, and the, the the squares are big enough that I can see when I'm writing in them. So, but I'm not very good at measuring out my squares or keeping lines straight so this will be challenging for me a little bit but um, I had measured it out already and I have 16 inches this way so I know I have I'm gonna divide 15 inches by 5 because I want to leave an inch for the, the dates like the, the Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday to write it out and then across I need seven um, so and I have 25 uh, and three quarters of inch so I need to divide it by seven but I also want to leave a border on the outside so that's why I have the numbers that I have so I'm going to use a permanent marker and the way I have decided how I'm going to determine where my border is going to be is I'm going to just draw pencil lines and you can erase them but I'm using the this thickness of this ruler which is my scrapbooking ruler from Stampin Up and I'm going to just mark off uh, where I want the lines to stop and go so I know I want it to start here. I, ho I hope I don't make a mistake, but won't be the first time. And then I'm going to go straight across and trying to use the foam board and the ruler to make it as straight as possible. Now, this will obviously work if your foam board is very straight. Okay, so that is that. And I'm going to just go and make a line here. marked off approximately looks fairly straight I think that looks pretty good I don't know if it's perfect but it does look pretty good and now I'm going to go and make a line here for these Just about done here. Okay, I think that worked out really well. And I'm going to use my thinner permanent marker and just fill out the days. And 
then for dates, I will use my dry erase markers and I have my earring condren ones and that's what I'm going to use to fill out the um, calendar as well. I'm just going to make this one for September when it starts. So it starts on a Tuesday. And you want to write the dates in a dry erase marker so that way you can change them up for every month. I like these Erin Condren ones because they are fine tip ones. I have will link them in the description box. Okay, and I'm just going to mark a first day of school. We start school on the 8th and then you can also up here write the month there you can write it bigger but I love it I think it's gonna be great uh, the squares are really nice and big and you could also put it in the border if you'd like or paint the border but I like the clean lines of this looks and I think it's gonna be a great addition in my command center so here is the board for my next month I'm gonna write the month name a bit bigger so I hope you enjoy these quick and easy back to school DIYs um, I know mine were a little different maybe than some of yours but that's the whole purpose of having this challenge is so we can get all sorts of different ideas so make sure you check out Heidi's channel as well as the playlist and if this is your first time stopping by my channel I would love it if you consider subscribing press the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my upcoming videos currently I am heavily into fall DIYs um, so make sure to check out those if you haven't done so already and until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching